Security cameras use two types of cables to transmit video. It can be coax cable or it can be network cable. Coax cable is often referred to as RG59 or RG6. Network cable is often referred to as CAT5 or CAT6. The important thing to understand is the type of cable you use to transmit video does not guarantee good performance or bad performance. In fact, if you take a coax system and a network system and put them side by side with the cameras having the same resolution, you won't be able to tell the two systems apart. So the first misconception that we want to discard is if you use a network system or a CAT6 system, you're gonna have amazing clarity. Reality is you can have amazing clarity with a coax system or a network system, and you can also have very poor performance with a network system or a coax system. So performance and resolution and quality is not a function of the cable. It's a function of the quality of the cable, the quality of the camera, the lens, and the video recorder. So let's first talk about CAT6 cable, network cable. That's the latest craze. Everybody says they want a, a, a CAT6 network system or an IP system. And so there are differences between CAT5 cable, which is a little older technology, and CAT6. We won't talk about the, the technical differences because it doesn't matter. Really all we want to know is what is the maximum distance that we can run a, a cable from the security camera to the video recorder? And the answer is for CAT5, Maximum distance you want to go is 220 feet. For CAT6, it's 300 feet. Now, if you find yourself needing to go further than the 300 feet for CAT6 or 220 feet for CAT5, you can use video extenders. These are small little boxes that you put in line and they regenerate the video signal and power so you can go another 300 feet. And you can use up to three of those units on one wire run so that you can actually extend a network wire run from the camera to the video quarter up to 1,200 feet. The units are great, they're easy to use, they're plug and play, and they don't require power. Now, if you're running network cable outdoors, it needs to be protected in conduit or an outdoor raceway. It's usually the UV lights, the sun rays that breaks, breaks down cable, so it needs to be protected from that. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where that's not practical, we do offer drug burial or outdoor network cable and spools and pre-made cables. Uh, they work great, they'll last for decades, buried in the ground or ran across a roof, um, but you should be selective where you use them because they are more expensive and they're a little harder to work with. So if you're a little confused about choosing which cable to use where, give us a call because we'll be glad to help you with that. Now, if you find that it's not practical to run a network cable from the camera to the video recorder, we do have other options. We have secure Wi-Fi that can transmit video signals up to two miles. We also have the ability to transmit high quality, reliable HD video right through your regular power outlets from the camera right to the video recorder. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're not sure how you're going to be able to wire something, give us a call. Likely, we have the right answer for you. Now let's talk about coax cable, often referred to as RG59 or RG6. This is still the same coax cable used since the 1990s. It uses BNC, crimp-on, or twist-on fittings. It is a good choice if price is a big motivator with selecting your system. It's low cost, it's reliable, and it works. The new technologies allow you to transmit up to 4K video across coax, RG59 or 6, up to a thousand feet. Now the most popular form of coax cable is called Siamese cable, and it has a video cable and a power cable all in one jacket. Now it's really nice because you just pull one cable out to the camera and back to the video recorder, much like network cable. Uh, there is a limitation though. Although you can send video a thousand feet over coax, you can't send power that far. And so maximum distance for a Siamese cable is 250 feet. That's as far as you want to go when you're transmitting power. If you need to go further than that, you need to increase the size of the power cable so there's less resistance and the camera can get the power that it needs. So if you're putting a camera a thousand feet out 
And you can use the coax cable to transmit the video back to the video recorder, but out at the camera location within around 250 feet, you need a power source to power the camera. Backstreet Surveillance provides custom designed video security systems for homes and businesses. They're designed by experts and installed by you. We provide expert advice, custom design. We have the industry's longest warranty, five years, lifetime USA-based technical support, money back guaranteed and free shipping. We make sure you get it right the first time.